In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Wheel of Fortune so you can learn astrology. Hi everyone, my name is Alison Price. I'm an astrologer in Vancouver, Canada. I've been doing astrology for many years and it's absolutely a passion of mine and I want to share it with you. I do a lot of work with aspiring astrologers, helping everyone who wants to know a little bit more about astrology and showing them how to learn it. So in this video, we're actually going to be talking about what I'm calling my Wheel of Fortune. And it's created quite simply with this template, which I'm going to show you. We're going to go through it a little detailed and we're going to create this fabulous Wheel of Fortune that you can use. It's, it's what I call Astro Art. You can hang it on your wall and each one's going to be unique. Now the idea is that astro art is really anything artistic or creative or colorful that can be used as an aid in astrology. So you would have astrology pictures of each of the signs hanging on your walls perhaps, and I can go to some behind me here, or you would have some creative inspiration artistically, and that would also come under the um, broad umbrella of artistic art. But what we're going to try to do now, what we are going to do with the Wheel of Fortune creation, is that you will take below this video is actually the PDF download for you to um, you can click through and get it and it's going to look like this you're going to there's a, I'll give you a close-up this will be the Wheel of Fortune page and you will print 12 of them one for each sign of the zodiac we're going to go through each of how you're going to fill it in one by one one sign at a time what you will do is fill in the segment with all the information about the sign and then it gets cut out including the tab on the side which is the little dotted line and then we will actually join all of them together in the correct order glue them behind with I'm using sellotape magic tape call it what you will sticky tape and then I'm actually backing it on a on a piece of straightforward cardboard as well so this then is astro art that hangs on my wall sounds like fun yeah so the part of each segment for each sign there are instructions on what you write it's written over here we write, there's the instruction right to write and you write it within that segment then we're going to go through each of the signs one by one First, I'm just going to go over it for you. Starting at the central point, you're going to write the polarity of the sign. Is it active or passive? Positive or negative? Masculine or feminine? You would write the element that the sign is, fire, earth, air or water. You would write the mode. Is it cardinal, fixed or mutable? These are all exciting bits of information astrologically. The day of the week. Does the planet that rules that sign have affinity with the day of the week? There are only seven days of the week, so only seven of the planets will actually have a date of the week there. Colors and patterns. Each sign is, is relates to certain colors, and some of them relate to patterns as well. Next up, body parts. Parts of the body, head, neck, chest, throat, going down. Which sign rules which part of the body? The symbol. What is the symbol of the sign? The lion. The goat. No, no goat. The lion, the ram, the bull. That's the symbol. That's what you write in that section. How about the angels? I'll go through those with you. Each angel correlates to a different sign. Minerals and metals. Is it gold, silver, platinum, tin, copper? We'll go through that. Gems and jewels. What is the... Um, what is the birthstone of the sign? We'll mention that too. How about the tarot cards? Certain tarot cards have affinities with the signs. We're going to learn about those. There's lots to go. Flowers, are particular flowers related to the sign? And if so, we would write them in there. Herbs and vegetables, watermelons, parsley, where do they go? How about shrubs and trees? Roses, oak trees, I don't know, apple trees. And then we have compatibility, which is kind of interesting. This is the compatibility of the one sign with the other signs in the zodiac. So on the top one, it signs attracted to, so that you would put the opposite sign because the sign opposite, the one that we are working on at the time, is has attraction to it. Um, you are at ease with, these are the signs in the same element. There will be two signs that you write in there and then come signs that you are comfortable with these are the signs that are within the same 
They are complementary elements. It's not the element of the sign. It's the other element within the same polarity of the sign. Those three signs go in there. We then want to put in some negative keywords, some difficult words that go that relate to that sign. We would then put in some positive keywords, and hopefully you've got more of those, the upbeat side of the sign, the good bits about the sign. Then we're going to put the planetary ruler. This is the planet that rules the sign. We then write the suns in that sign date. What dates of the year will the sun be in that particular sign? And the very last one will actually be the sign name. So that will go on the very outside of your circle. So each sign will have a page by itself where you can write in the words that have the affinities with that particular sign. Once you've done that, and of course you can colour it in, you will then cut it out, including the tab, and we'll stick the whole thing together. So let's get something clear. The words that I wrote on my Wheel of Fortune will be similar, but not exactly the same to yours. Maybe you have different um, you feel that different signs relate to different things and certainly it's for you to learn It's for you to put these words on there for you But what I'm going to go through now is how I have filled in each of the signs and I'll tell you exactly the words I've written on each sign in my Wheel of Fortune and this is a guide for you when you are creating yours You of course will write your own words I'm now going to go over Aries for you and tell you from the from the inside working out the words that I'd written on my Wheel of Fortune so first off, the polarity is active. It's in the fire element, the cardinal mode. The day of the week is Tuesday, because Mars is Tuesday's day. Uh, the color is red. The body part is head and blood. The symbol is the ram. The angel is Samrael. The, me the metal is iron. The gems and jewels is diamond. The tarot card is the emperor. Then we are looking at flowers, herbs and vegetables. We have chives, all the hot things, chives, chilies, garlic, capsicum, mustard, lupin, tiger lily, hawthorn trees and the thorn trees. Those are your shrubs and trees. So the opposite sign to which you are attracted is Libra. The two signs that you are at ease with are the fire signs Leo and Sagittarius. And you are comfortable with Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. They are the air signs to your fire. Some negative keywords for Aries is impulsive and impatient. Positive keywords, courage, enthusiasm, a leader, self-assertion, first, excited and inspired. The planetary ruler is Mars and the sun is in Aries from March 21st to April 19th each year, give or take. And of course, that is the sign of Aries. Okay, let's have a look at Taurus from the inside out. It is of the passive polarity. The element is earth. The mode is fixed. The day of the week is Friday. The color is tangerine. Body parts is the throat. The symbol is the bull. The angel, a nail. The mineral is copper and the gems and jewels is emerald. The tarot card is the Hierophant. Am I saying that right? Okay. Herbs, vegetables, shrubs and trees, honey, all root vegetables, roses, mallow, silver birch and elder. The opposite sign of attraction is Scorpio. The two signs Taurus is at ease with are Virgo and Capricorn and Taurus is comfortable with Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Some negative keywords for Taurus is possessive and inflexible and positive words are impatient, preserving, common sense, sensual, earthy, realistic and a worker. Venus is the planetary ruler and the Sun is in Taurus from April 20th to May 20th most years. So that's Taurus. Gemini, let's hear it for Gemini. Third sign, active polarity, air element, mutable mode. We're not having a day of the week there. The color is orange. 
The body parts, the eyes, ears, the arms, the lungs, anything you've got two of. Right. The symbol is the twins and the angel is Raphael, or Raphael, I should say. Metal and minerals, mercury. Gems and jewels, agate tourmaline, and sometimes pearls. The tarot card is the lovers. The flowers and herbs and vegetables are caraway orchids, pears, hybrids, licorice, and your tree would be the pear tree. Opposite signs to which they are attracted is the Sagittarius. Two signs um, at ease with are Libra and Aquarius, and the signs comfortable with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Some negative keywords for Gemini are restless and fickle, and positive keywords instinctive, communicator, variable, diverse, adaptable, makes connections, and agile. The planetary ruler for Gemini is Mercury, and the sun is generally in Mercury from May 21 to June 20 every year. That's Gemini. Okay, Cancer, you're up from the top. It is the passive polarity, the water element, the cardinal mode. The day of the week is Monday. The color for Cancer is often white. Um, the body parts are the breasts and the stomach. The symbol is the crab. The angel, Gabriel. Metals and minerals, silver, ruby, moonstone, pearls, mother of pearls. The tarot card is the chariot. Flowers, herbs, vegetables, saxifrage, melons, cucumbers, iris, lily, lotus, and moonflower. Suns attracted to are Capricorn, that's the sign opposite. Then signs at ease with is Scorpio and Pisces, signs comfortable with Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Some negative keywords for Cancer, shy, tenacious and can be moody. And positive keywords are feelings, gut reactions, family oriented, safety, patriotic and protecting. The planetary ruler for Cancer is the Moon and the Sun is generally in Cancer on June, from June 21 to July 22nd each year. So that's Cancer. Let's have a look at Leo. The active polarity, it's the fire element. They are fixed. Sunday is the day for Leo. Colors and patterns, gold and yellow. Body parts, the heart and the back. The symbol is the lion. The angel is Michael. Minerals and metal, gold. Gems and jewels, the peridot and the tarot card is, is strength. Flowers, herbs, vegetables, St. John's wort, sunflower, rosemary, marigolds, king proteus, and the trees are the bay, the laureus nobilis, and the ash tree. Signs attracted to Aquarius, signs at ease with Aries and Sagittarius, signs comfortable with Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Negative keywords, Pride, arrogant, vain. Positive keywords, honorable, loyal, warm, creative, honest, and playful. The ruling planet for Leo is the sun, and the sun is generally in Leo from July 23rd to August 22nd, most years. So that's Leo. So we're getting there, sixth sign, Virgo, and keywords are passive positive polarity, polarity, earth element, mutable mode, day of the week, we don't have one. So, colors and patterns, paisley, you know the paisley? Yeah. Body parts, digestion, the digestive system. The symbol is the Virgin and the angel is Raphael. Raphael, will I ever say that word right? Minerals and metals, again, mercury, gems and jewels, sapphire, and the tarot card is the hermit. Flowers, herbs and vegetables, dill, fennel, parsley and narcissus. I think they're the daffodils. And for trees, we have hazelnut and all ferns. Signs attracted to is Pisces. Signs at ease with is Taurus and Capricorn. Signs comfortable with Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. 
negative keywords, critical and fastidious. Positive keywords, analytical, particular, perfectionist, kind, modest, serves and detailed. The ruling planet for Virgo is Mercury and the Sun is generally in Virgo from August 23rd to September 22nd every single year. So there's Virgo. Moving on to Libra. The active polarity, the air element, the modus cardinal. Don't have a day of the week. The colour and pattern. The colour is green. The body parts are the kidneys. Um, the symbol is the scales and the angel is a nail. Metals and minerals, copper and gems and jewels, the opal. The tarot card is justice. Flowers, herbs and vegetables, mint, aloe, cardamom, gooseberry, apple, all fragrance flowers, fruit trees and cypress. Signs attracted to is Aries. Signs at ease with are Gemini and Aquarius. Signs comfortable with are Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Negative keywords for Libra, vacillates and can't decide. Positive keywords. Partnership, persuasive, courteous, elegant, level, commitment and peaceful. The ruling planet for Libra is Venus and the Sun is generally in Libra from September 23 to October 23 every year. Moving on, we're into Scorpio now. Polarity is passive, element is water, mode is fixed, don't have a day of the week. Colour and pattern, maroon, often. Body parts are the reproductive system and the elementary, ele elementary systems. The symbol is the scorpion and the angel Azrael. Metals and minerals, metals and minerals, plutonium. Gems and jewels, all magnets and topaz and in tarot, it's the death card. Flowers, herbs and vegetables, basil, cactus, figs, nutmeg and foxglove. Don't seem to have a tree there. Still need to look into that. Signs attracted to Taurus, at ease with Cancer and Pisces. Signs comfortable with Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Negative keywords for Scorpio, suspicious, jealous and revengeful. Positive keywords, intense, passionate, self-control, potent and sexy. The ruling planet for Scorpio is Pluto and the Sun is generally in Scorpio from October 24 to November 21 every year. There's Scorpio. We're doing Sagittarius. The polarity of acti is active. The element is fire. The mode is mutable. Day of the week, Thursday. Colours and pattern, royal blue. Body parts is the liver and the thighs, the two big parts in the body. The symbol is the archer and the angel, Sachael. Metals and mineral, tin. Gems and jewels, turquoise. And the tarot card is temperance. Flowers, barrage, barrage, sage, rushes, strawberries, asparagus, carnation, blue and foreign plants. The trees are the maple, the chestnut and the oak trees. Signs attracted to is Gemini. Signs at ease with Leo and Aries. Signs comfortable with Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Negative keywords for Sagittarius, tactless and overextends. Positive keywords, cosmopolitan, open, seeks, outgoing, explores, ethical, optimistic and forgiving. The planetary ruler is Jupiter and the sun is in Sagittarius from November 22 till December 21, most years. Okay, okay, we're getting there, Capricorn. Polarity is passive, element is earth, mode is cardinal, day of the, work, day of the week is Saturday, color and pattern, black, gray and stripes. Body parts is the skin, the bones and the teeth. The symbol is the sea goat and the angel, Cassiel, Cassiel. Metals and minerals, jet and lead, and jet, I've said it again, ivory and fossils, garnet. 
So the tarot card is the devil. The flowers are angelica, hemp, barley and spinach. Shrubs would be holly and ivy and the trees are the yew and all hedges. Signs attracted to is Cancer. Signs at ease with Taurus and Virgo. Signs comfortable with Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Negative keywords for Capricorn, bossy and boundaries. Positive keywords, ambitious, traditional, mature, serious and persistent. The planetary ruler for Capricorn is Saturn and the sun is generally in Capricorn from December 22 to January 19th each year. Let's have a look at Aquarius. It's the active polarity, the air is of the air element. The mode is fixed. We don't have a day of the week. Your color is electric blue. The body parts are the circulation and the ankles. So the symbol is the water bearer and the angel is Uriel. Metals and minerals, uranium and anything radioactive. Gems and jewels, the amethyst. And the tarot card is the stars. Flowers, herbs and vegetables, olives, orchids, anise. All hybrid plant, all unique specimens. And the tree is the alder. Signs attracted to Leo. Signs at ease with Gemini and Libra. Signs comfortable with Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Some negative keywords for Aquarius. Detached, aloof and willful. Positive keywords, humanitarian, humane, objective, socially aware, progressive and modern. So the planetary ruler of Aquarius is Uranus and the sun is generally in Aquarius from January 20 to February 18 each year. Last but never least is our Pisces. We love Pisces. The polarity is passive. The element is water. The mode is mutable. I don't have a day of the week. Color, cyan. Body parts are the feet and the symbol is the fish. The angel is Azrael. This, woo, missing something. Metals and minerals, Neptunian, Neptunian and coral. And the bloodstone. The tarot card is the moon. Flowers, herbs and vegetables, Nicotiania, salt, kelp, cosmos, purple cone flower and the tree is the willow. Signs attracted to is Virgo. Signs at ease with is Cancer and Scorpio. Signs comfortable with Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Negative keywords for Pisces, vague. Positive keywords for Pisces, understanding, artistic, compassionate, glamorous, musical, spiritual and devoted. The planetary ruler for Pisces is Neptune and the sun is generally in Pisces from February the 19th to March the 20th every year. Wow, there's, I've got to tell you there's a lot of information coming at you all at once there and you fill it each one on, each sign has one page, you make 12 of them, you fill it in, you colour it in as much as you like, then you cut them out. You then lay the signs in order. As I read them, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces and you jigger it around and glue it all together. You can see quite clearly I've only really coloured in the main outsides. I've coloured in some of the signs here and I've done a little colouring further in on the actual centre. The point is that really it's for you. It's a guide for you. It's astro art for you to hang above your desk where you do astrology. So you can write in the words that mean something to you and make it, make it a meaningful piece of um, astrology learning for you. When you've finished your completed Wheel of Fortune, so you can share it on your Instagram or your social media and use the hashtag star wheel. It's written down at the bottom of each page and we'd all like to see what you've done. That would be great. I'll be looking out for your finished Wheels of Fortune. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, like and share it with anyone who would be interested. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Alison Price. I'll see you next time.